morning. We're starting our day off with a trip to Mount Vernon. We're going to Hughes Equipment today. Won't be doing that no more. So I gotta get uh, all this stuff out for relief. Back from Hughes, over here at the grain bins again. We've got some grain vac issues again. No, you need stamps. I only got 2,800 today. I've been hauling around people. I've been gator We've got the foreman on site. That's right. Ain't get done. <laughs> he is supervising the clown show. But basically, we got something here plugging our airlock up. Uh, I don't know what it is. There. Remember, you can't go too high. Hey, did you get that? Okay, never mind. You want to guide it out of there? No. Hold on, big guy, stay there. Well, we'll see. Anything? Nope. Nothing. Watch out. Which, wait, 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 wait. Which way does this need to go? Forward or backward? I don't know. Try forward. Looks like it's moving. Yep. Hmm. See, you think it's kind of held? Looks crooked to me, like it's in there crooked. Oh, good. Uh, Eat cheater bar. Cheater. Mmm. Big Peter. Cheater. Mmm. Hey, I'm <laughs> filming. Watch your mouth. <laughs> if he airs anything that he filmed the other day, it'd be a miracle. What happened the other day? I don't know. I dropped a bunch of extra. Oh, I got him talking about the Bengals first thing, and jeez. You can tell somebody had a bad weekend. Was it the Bengals or BJ? <laughs> I think it was both. <laughs> Brand new batteries. Come on, baby. Ah, look at there. This might have been it. That come out there? I don't know. What is it? I got it's got a mark on it, don't it? Pretty good. George's been here 30 seconds and he's already eaten. I might have gave you that just to get you eaten. That's right. He gave it to me just so he could film this. <laughs> so I had to oblige him. <laughs> I had to twist your arm off a lot. I hope it don't kill me, though. So after a boring amount of time spent blending and transferring and hauling, we were leaving here for the day. And we were going to go over to the other grain bins because Dad said he was going to hand shell a load of corn. We're going to see what that made moisture-wise. Yep, we got another Oxbow 4103 floater. Now, unlike the previous ones we've ran, we've been fortunate enough to run three of these machines now for the last 
one machine for the last three years. One different machine the last three years. This one is ours. We actually, uh, this one's ours. This is not a demo machine. So we obviously like the machines well enough that we decided to go ahead and get one. But uh, yeah, we actually placed an order on this a while ago. This is a leftover model. It's actually a few years old, so it's priced very well. It was a very hard deal to pass one, but it only has 30 hours on it. This is supposed to be a demo unit that never really got demoed much. I don't know that it's ever had fertilizer through it. I think this thing was on the show circuit going to different trade shows. Fine by us. Does it have fertilizer in there? I don't see that. They clean her up to this. This is definitely the cleanest floater I've ever been around. It is a Raven. So it has Raven GPS in it. So we were supposed to have Ag Leader on it. So I don't know if they're going to do that later, but just wanted to keep everything Ag Leader. We got a goodie box. This usually mounts under the bed, the uh, floater bed. Yeah, there's our calibrations and tools. Uh oh. Let's see if we can be a little acrobatic. That gave us a 2 out of 10, but we made it. So a couple of neat things about Oxbow's floaters, they're three-wheel drive, pretty handy. They have a 15-foot foot new liter bed, a little bit longer than others. And um, they have cap suspension that works really well. So this one is a dual bin floater. I mean, we can put one product here and one product here. I'd say it's had something. There's some corrosion on the belt bolts, but not much. Now, one thing that's great about these dual bin floaters for fertilizer, they're awesome. For lime, we'll have to take this bin insert out. Not a big deal, but uh, when we were running fertilizer with one last year, it was dual bin and it saved so much time because normally I would fill the spreader with one product, go spread it, and then come right back to the same field and spread the other product. And this way we're just making one trip. Yeah, I don't know. Morning. Afternoon. You don't know when they're gonna watch. You don't know when it's going to air for them to watch. But it's it's not morning here though. Or it's not it's not afternoon here though. Maybe it's not afternoon there. Or not morning there. Whatever. We're starting day off getting in a grain bin. We're gonna clean out uh, one of the bean bins here. We got two bean bins to clean out. Two corn bins. Uh, we're gonna haul some beans right now though. And shoot. We have to go through the top. You're cold, aren't you? I like the look. It would probably die. Yeah, not a cricket. Look up her. That ain't a cricket. It's got a big finger on it. You prematurely set me up here. You looked at this and said, oh, it's open. Oh. Definitely seems to be. Yeah, I guess I'll get in and start shoving out the door then. Get a whole lot cooler if the intermediate works. It's moving. It's moving. It's not quite as stuck as we initially thought, Brian. Good. It's going to be real funny when you slip into that bin. I feel like this is a story George was telling me about him and Dave right before the number three handle stripped out. We're going to fire it up see if anything happens. Uh, hang on. Okay. My shovel's in the middle. <laughs> this clip's being shot on my iPhone. The speakers don't work, but I'm inside the bin. I've got to shovel out the door so we can get our sweep in because this bin doesn't have a power sweep. Now, unfortunately, right after this, my GoPro froze. We lost all the files. So this is the only footage of us cleaning out this bin today. You just turned that on in case I fell, didn't you? Yep. So we had a mild hiccup, the auger was plugged up, forgot to close it last time we hauled out of here. We haven't hauled out of this bin in probably four months, so pipe wrench to it for a little bit and we're good to go. So these bins don't have power sweeps, so we will have to clear it out, put a sweep in there. The intermediates are open, they are sucking beans out, so the sweep will start out over there and clean out to around the door. There's probably less than two truckloads here right now. These little bins, uh, they clean out pretty quick. 
Hey guys, if you're liking these videos, do me a favor and give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That would really mean a lot to me. Get these subscriber numbers up rolling into harvest, get some momentum, and uh, yeah, should be good. Uh, harvest just a few weeks away, so definitely want to make sure you turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.